Okay. Intro. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> This is Benny and this is Drew and today we are going to review the trailer of The Wedding Party. This is a 2016, I think there are two movies um, for The Wedding Party. This is part one and it came out in 2016 and it's also on Netflix. Um, if I look at the IMDb, it says uh, chaos prevails when a family prepares for a lavish wedding. Hmm. It is directed by Kemi Ade Tiba uh, and it stars uh, Ade Lu, Ade Farasin, Ali Baba Akporobome, <laughs> uh, Zainab Balogun, uh, and, and many others. Hold on, let's take a look at that. Ali Baba. Ali Baba, cool name. Interesting. <laughs> That is for the family table. This is for the bride. This is wrong. All right, this is, that's better. Get off here, it's my energy! Oh, God. Don't hate the player, just hate the game. Well, this player is getting married today. Son of Lady Obianuju Owunka. That is correct. Dog Tata with a Carpaccio option for starters. <laughs> I'm not about to let the cocos poison my guests. Where's Oladuni Coca? <laughs> this guy, you're an angel, oh. Hi. We should have even charged them double bright price. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Have fun for me, brothers. I need a new best man. <laughs> Fine, Shola, you are now the best man. Please don't make me regret this. What is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we have it. Have it. Yes, <laughs> Please tell me that didn't just happen. Uh, it's not that bad. Harrison. Let's go. Abi, I should call my tailor. Good to have you Madam. I know I'm crazy. I've been calling her phone. She's not picking. Her phone's with me, ma. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Why my daughter has been kidnapped. She wants me to calm down. The only person who has been kidnapped here today is my son. By that useless daughter of yours. Amy! Uh -huh. You should have asked for him if he tells her. Why is she going in first? Because we are the Onwukas, the bride's family. Dance is first. What about if we just don't sing together? Yeah, yeah. That's sweet. I don't tell you, say I be thief. I know be robber. Okay, thief, robber, please. What's the difference? Oh, you think this is a joke? Please, please. Uh, I'm sure my boss didn't mean any harm. Uh, the boss didn't mean any harm. Uh, like I said, I'm not a member of their family. How does a man stay with one woman for the rest of his life? Poor to me. It's an experience. Just in case you're confused, this is where it goes in. <laughs> you need to do the fun and spontaneous things. Two. And for him. I understand that you may not like Duni, but you need to understand that I love her, and that is never going to change. I have never needed anyone in my life the way that I need you. Are you gonna be my lover? Yes. Every person plotting if we against their marriage. No mercy, joy by fire! So weddings are <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> they can be very, very stressful. You know, it's supposed to be all party, but for the ones who are arranging it, it's really stressful. And if especially there's a wedding planner. Uh, has to put on a smile, has to be very perky and, you know, very organized. But it is such a stressful thing to be the, you know, the organizer, the planner of the wedding. And you cannot keep, keep everybody happy. 
there's somebody who's going to be, oh, I didn't get this, this didn't happen, you know, you know, everybody wants to be the center of attention and they'll make sure that something on the other goes wrong so that they get the attention. And uh, it's also a power game, as you could see, you know, uh, it's like, okay, our family is going to be like this and then the wedding first. planners are just, <laughs> and the wedding planners are just, why don't you do something together? And they're like, hmm. No, 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 no. It was the other way. They, they're like, we will perform first and this and that. The wedding planner is, why don't you do it separately? They're like, hmm. I think that's ah. what was going on. But they were like, had egos, <laughs> like the bride's family and the groom's family. Hmm. They had egos going on there. Egos going on, yes. And this is very much like, I don't know, how, other parts of the world, I don't know, but in India also, it's quite much the same thing, you know. Who's better, ladki wale, ladki wale, you know, who the, the groom side or the bride side, who's, who's the better one, you know. And there's uh, these, like in India, people have the sangeet, the musical evening where they dance and they perform. And evidently, uh, like the Nigerians have something like that too. And uh, it's like, it's always, you know, and the, uh, the host, the one who's holding the mic and all, it always make sure to, you know, make the crowd go, excited cheering for their side you know so that it's all pumped up and everybody is so involved in this it's fun and it's a lot of competition you know and often at times it's like it's only the bride and the groom who are like okay it's our wedding and we are going to be together the others like we are the better ones <laughs> yeah but the <laughs> even yeah. ladies and gentlemen permit me there was a uh unexpected and that happened after mm. quite some time <laughs> <laughs> but uh, even in this like it kind of reminded me of so many things first of all the wedding planner that kind of reminded me of uh, when monica was plan in friends was planning phoebe's wedding and she went crazy like it shows how stressful of a job it is for the wedding planner and of course, the egos between the families that kind of reminded me of Vicky Donor when the two were getting married. Not only was there were their egos, but they were culturally so different, right? Like even though they're from the same country, yeah. there is such a huge difference between the North and the South and the North and the West and this and that. Like every region has its own um, cultural difference. And I, uh, I as far as I know, same goes with Nigeria. There is a huge uh, cultural difference between two regions. And it might be that, um, <coughs> that is something I learned from that uh, Love, is, Love is War movie. Wow. Where they were married and they were from different tribes or different regions. And it was such a huge difference and a point of contention. So I feel like maybe here the bride and, and the groom uh, if not from different cultural, uh, you know, different cultures, they might also be from different economic stratas. We have that, all of that in India. It's very, very comparable, you know. So there's egos going on there. And the bride was like, you know, it's, she kind of fit the norm of like uh, old school, quintessential, innocent bride, I feel. And then everybody's giving you all kinds of advice, like in Queen, right? Like when Kangana Ranaut was getting married and she was a innocent uh, girl and everybody was telling her what to do and overwhelming her. Uh, the bride here was like, this is many women I know who their idea of a perfect milestone in their life is getting married. So it's uh, so much pressure on that one day that they are going bonkers and that's what that um, series is based on I've never seen it but it's called Bridezilla or something where the bride is like going crazy that oh everything should be perfect and um, yeah it's just uh, it's a lot of stress it's and I like that one it boils down to that one day you know, all that stress, all that months of planning, months of stressing boils down to that one day. And the question is, do you even enjoy it? <laughs> but they seemed to enjoy it. Oh my God, it was so colorful. 
the dancers oh. and everything. I mean, we have always been a fan of Nigerian clothing, but like you see this and it's like a wedding. Like, you know, in the US, I feel you go to many weddings and um, there have been, I've been to a few weddings. Some are very low key and people are there in like, normal clothes they don't dress up and it was such a shocker for me when I was new to the U.S. I'm like this is such a big okay and I was so dressed up almost as dressed up as the bride and I was like very embarrassed because no one else was dressed up and I was like what is is this real because in India like we dress up so much oh my god we take so much time when we are even attending a wedding and so the same goes for Nigerians like the dressing style and the importance given to your look like that's paramount it's it's so important right so i love that like it's just and in general they are so well dressed those dresses are amazing those colors are amazing their culture is amazing all of them like even males here like most most males dress in like black or white but like in India we have Sherwanis different designs it's so beautiful right it's not just a black and a black tuxedo or something it's like so colorful same goes for Nigerian men like menswear oh. it has as many almost as many options as women's wear that they do take that dressing seriously as well and it's gorgeous so many patterns and prints so that's amazing. And um, yeah, I was just very impressed. I mean, so many thoughts went through my mind. And there was also like, there was this guy who, it also reminded me of the hangover. Like one of the grooms, uh, groomsmen went missing or got beaten up or something was in the hospital. Like last minute things, right? Things like that can happen. And then what do you do? And then... Uh, there was a guy who was robbing them or something. I don't know. That was there was so many things going on in that in that movie. Yeah, and you remember the groom was being hitted on by some girl in the initial stage of uh, the tra trailer. Yeah, and it did seem like the groom was not really interested. Hopefully, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I mean, yeah, there's this, uh, you know, all over the world. I feel that wedding day you expect perfection and uh, definitely wedding day there are mishaps goes without saying it goes without saying there's something or the other going wrong but i feel that's what makes a wedding actually memorable if things go exactly according to plan then it's like just you know i don't see the fun in that but it's that's the process you know that's the fun about it that things go wrong and you're like hey you remember on that day we did this and then this fellow did that and but that only thing. that only uh makes it fun when you're looking at it in hindsight right yeah like yes. when, it's kind of like traveling when mishaps happen when you lose a passport or and then the things you have to do the people you have to talk to or your car breaks down it's so stressful in the moment but when you look mm. back at it it's like what an experience that was it was a, a full-fledged experience true so I think in the moment it's very very stressful though yeah but yeah I feel that uh, I mean I always uh, think about this that you know the worst of the experiences are the funny of the experiences uh, when you think about them I mean they uh, like uh, you've been like I've been on a on a, on a camp uh, a national cadet camp and we had such a miserable time such a miserable time uh, although we had the good times, but then most of the time we were feeling miserable away from home and this and that. But now when I think about it, I feel that that was so funny. You know, those 15 days were miserable most of the time. But now those were the things that I remember the most, but I don't think them, uh, think about them and feel sad. I feel very funny about it. So that's, yeah. that's the beauty of life. You know, you laugh it off. Afterwards, you just laugh it off. You yeah, know, the, uh, the bride... Her dress got. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Now that is quite a disaster. But in the end, she managed to some do something with the dress, and she got married in that itself. So good. 
<laughs> yeah, and like I think it was one of her best friends or something. His reaction was very funny. It's like, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yes. what do you say to your best friend? Do you be on? Are you going to be honest or are you just completely going to lie? And I liked that he kind of chose a middle route that it's not that bad. <laughs> like, what can you say? She doesn't, it's so horrifying to her that she can't even look behind to see what kind of carnage has happened. Like, she doesn't want to look at it, you know? So it's just <laughs> that horrifying to her, which is so funny. So I'm sure, you know, even Indian audiences would really enjoy watching this movie because uh, there's a lot of, you know, similarity to what we Indians have at our weddings. And it's, it's so colorful. It's so much fun. Uh, so I'm looking forward to watching this movie. Yeah, I feel, you know, we would request if a Nigerian person, who anyone who watches this, if they can invite us to their wedding, we would love oh, to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Would be so much fun. I'd love to do that. Go yeah. there. All right, guys. So if you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and actually go ahead and give us a like. Also hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. We upload it usually on Mondays. Uh, also leave us a comment if you think we should review something else or if you just want to leave general feedback. Until next time, fir milenge. Fir milenge.